The Berlin Wall was built in 1961 to divide Berlin. West Berlin was capitalist and free, but East Berlin was controlled by the Soviet Union. The Soviets built the wall to stop any East Berliners escaping, but 5,000 did escape. Here are some of their stories. In 1979, two East Berliners decided to escape. Their plan was to fly over the wall in a hot air balloon. They built the balloon with materials bought in a local store and told people they were building sails for their boat club. It wasn't long before their balloon was ready, but it was way too small. Two attempts later, they had a working balloon. The secret police had recently discovered someone else's balloon, so they decided to leave as soon as possible. On September 15th, they got into the balloon with their families and set off. While in the air, their balloon caught fire, which was easily put out. After reaching the west, they crash-landed in a forest. They had escaped, but for some reason, the two families parted ways and never saw each other again. When it comes to getting past a wall, there are limited options. If you can't climb over it, the obvious choice is to tunnel under it. Some people did try to climb over it, but they didn't get far. One year after the Berlin Wall's construction, an 81-year-old man dug a huge tunnel underneath it. It took him 16 days with the help of other elderly people. Once established, the tunnel was regularly used to smuggle people out of East Berlin. In fact, the biggest Berlin Wall escape was by this tunnel in 1964, where 57 people escaped. One man decided to tightrope walk over the wall. The man was Horst Klein, a circus performer. For some reason, the Soviets banned him from performing. But the circus was his life and wasn't going to just give it up. He noticed an old power cable stretching over the wall, leading to the west, where circus was still legal. The cable was above the guard towers, which would allow him to climb across it without being seen. He got up to the cable using a supply pole and swung his way across it like a monkey. He never made it all the way, falling to the ground by accident. Luckily, he landed in the west. Wolfgang Engels had the most direct tactic. He was a soldier in the Soviet East. In 1963, he stole an armored vehicle and drove it into the wall. He was hoping to smash through the wall, but only created a small opening. He got through the small opening, but was shot while navigating barbed wire. Luckily, some West Germans were able to help him escape. He eventually settled down as a teacher in the West. One man had successfully escaped, but his two friends were still stuck in the east. Together, they came up with the idea of ziplining over the wall. By use of a homemade bow and arrow, they shot an arrow over to West Berlin, which was picked up by their friend. Tied to the arrow was a cable wire. Once the wire was fastened to buildings on either side of the wall, they were able to zip across. They were able to zip across using homemade pulleys. It was in May 1983. Some people tried to just climb over the wall. Peter Fechter was among those who did. An 18-year-old bricklayer, he was shot by East German border guards. He did not die instantly, falling down beside the wall and screaming for help. As he slowly died, no one was allowed to help him. News of his death caused hundreds to protest the wall's existence. He attempted to climb the wall along with a friend, who successfully did so. Several others also tried to climb over it with some using specially modified boots to make it easier. One man even used meat hooks to climb over. 
Jürgen Lang was an East German soldier stationed at the wall. In 1969, he refused to shoot another soldier who escaped to the west. Because of this, he was told that he would be disciplined at a later time. He didn't want that, so he made his own escape just 10 minutes later. On the other side of the wall, he found that his gun had been disabled by the soldier he chose not to shoot. By the way, some people defected from West Berlin to the East. They were often lured over by young women, but when they reached East Berlin, they would be sent to the Gulag. This might sound weird, but one man swam into East Berlin. There is a canal running through the city called Talto. Hartmut Richter realized this canal led to freedom. He would just need to swim along it while evading the notice of border guards. His plan worked, but it wasn't easy. At one point he was attacked by a swan, and he had hypothermia by the end of it. Konrad Schumann escaped while the wall was still being built. He was an East German soldier overseeing the Berlin Wall's construction when he realized he was on the wrong side. At that point, it was just a roll of barbed wire on the ground. Some people in the West shouted at him to jump over, so he did. The photograph of him jumping over and dropping his gun was widely circulated. He was then ushered into a police car and taken to safety. This next one may not even have happened, but it's alleged to have happened. In 1989, it was reported that three men had flown over the wall in a homemade aircraft. It was basically a hang glider, camouflaged, and flown at night. Their escape took less than 20 minutes, and the aircraft was abandoned immediately after. Their story was doubted by many, and never confirmed as the aircraft wasn't found. Police were unable to verify their claims, but the men said they spent two years planning it.